Well, good morning, Dart Fish Rally friends. It's the final day of the Safari Rally Kenya. Look at this, what a gorgeous way to start the day. The sun just coming up over the back of those beautiful trees behind us. That is Thierry Neuville just about to make his way into the opening stage of the final day. Esapek Lapi is first on the road and he is already headed into the stage. <laughs> Thierry Neville, a little bit of a job to do today, Thierry Neville, trying to catch Kaitanovic, who's in eighth place. Four minutes ahead of him, though, it's a big ask. Six stages today, folks, 75 kilometres, a decent day, a decent chunky day ahead of the cruise. Is that enough to catch Kaitanovic? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. It's, uh, it's going to be a big ask for Thierry Neville, but clearly looking for as many points as he can get. Pierre-Louis Lebey. And Nico Gilles Sol. It's all a little bit rushed getting here this morning. Quite a lot of traffic on the roads. Morning, Pierre Louis. A little bit rushed getting here this morning. The traffic was pretty awful. Yeah, it was com completely stopped on the highway, so quite tricky. Feeling good? It's another big day ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll try to, to have a good day and uh, finish this one. Uh, good man, we'll leave them to it. They're just getting themselves together. Uh, in terms... In terms of the weather this morning, well, do you know what? We've had a few spots of rain already on the windscreen, but yeah, it's just really difficult to tell what the weather's going to do around here. Uh, the sun is about to come up. There are patches of blue sky above us, but it changes so rapidly. And as we saw yesterday evening, you know, you get these sharp, sh short, sharp showers that change completely the characteristics of the roads. Oitanak, Martin Yarveoya, we'll leave them to it. Yeah, they've not managed to get all of the mud off these cars, have they? And maybe no car wash here. That's possible. That's absolutely possible. Uh, normally they have a car wash as they head in and out of service. Danny Sordo just making a few adjustments. Now, what's interesting, the gators, have a look at this. No, well, let's not have a look in the bonnet because they've got something that maybe they don't want us to show in there. So we'll not have a look there, but we can look at this. Uh, remember yesterday we posted quite a few pictures of mud caked springs. Well, they've then put gators. I, I think the gators came on in the afternoon to protect the springs. So it's, uh, you know, it's a way of mitigating against that mud causing problems with the springs and the dampers. But those gators didn't appear until yesterday afternoon, I think, was when the gators came out. Is that right? You didn't have the gators in the morning on the springs. I'm there. Didn't you? Did you have the, the gators on the springs? These things, Danny, these, these gator things on the springs. They weren't... This is for the mud. mud yeah. For the mud, but but they weren't there yesterday morning. Uh, maybe no. in my car, maybe yes. But in other cars, I see was not. Uh, we're not going to disturb Danny because he's, he's got stuff to do. Did he definitely put that bonnet down properly? I don't want that bonnet. That, that's down properly, yeah? <laughs> um, tell me about the stages today, Danny. Uh, quite rough. Uh, first stage now is, is something rough, but yeah. let's see to, if we can pass with no punches and no problems. And, and no more zebras. <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, luckily it was... Uh, we, we lost a little bit of time, but it was it was nothing, you know. Like, like, the, the most important thing is the zebras get nothing, and yeah. we just, like, yeah. uh, a history, but it's like this. It's just a good bit of exercise for the zebras. The fastest zebras in Africa running in front of Danny Sordo's car. I think you clocked, what, 60 kilometers an hour behind the zebras? 55 at some 55, point. goodness yeah, me. Because the zebras and all those people in, uh, say, uh, uh, <laughs> no, there's some <laughs> comments. Oh, no one complains. There we go. That's Danny Sordo. Lovely boy. Uh, right. Ah, Katsuta, what a rally he's having. Fourth place. Uh, what's the difference? It's 16.7 seconds between Katsuta and Elvin Evans in third. You know, Katsuta's had a great run at the Safari Rally. Second last year, third the year before. Takamoto, good morning. How are you feeling this morning, Takamoto-san? Yeah, good. Thanks. Yeah. You got here okay, not too rushed. There was quite a lot of traffic on the road, wasn't there? Yeah, it was quite uh, quite.
quite uh, yeah tricky. Tell me the plan today. Is it to try and catch Elvin, or is it just to see what happens? I don't think it's gonna be fight. I think the one, two, three, four. You've had a great rally so far, Takamoto San. Yeah, I, you know that's absolutely a sensible thing. A one, two, three, four uh, would be quite incredible. Two years running. I'm not sure that we've had that before in the World Rally Championship. I'm really not. Uh, pointing, something's been pointed out to me here. Uh, I'm making you wing. Yes, well done indeed. Elliot, our cameraman, reminding me. Uh, remember, Takamoto's lost, I think, three wings so far, two or three wings this weekend. And Yari Matty yesterday evening said, we're going to have to take two broken ones and make one new one from it. So, you know, you can see here, there's, there's plenty of gaffer tape um, holding things together. I, I don't know, yeah. It'd be quite a job, wouldn't it? Quite a job to uh, to make a wing. But that's what happens. You don't carry them all. Uh, let's have a look who's this coming this way now. That will be Alvin Evans, I'd have thought. Uh, we'll uh, see if we can catch up with Elvin in a second or two. Elvin Evans having a really strong event, sitting in third place. Takasan just behind him. Ah, do you know, we don't have team orders at Toyota, but I think Yari Mate will have absolutely reiterated the need for all four cars to come home today. Uh, Scotty, a battling event for you guys. A podium will be a good result. Yeah, it's what we came to, to achieve here. So, tough day today. Um, this first one is really, uh, really rough, and even the, the second one's really soft with the fesh fesh. So, it's a big challenge ahead. Big challenge ahead. We'll leave him to it. There we go. There we go. Let's watch the technique. Watch the technique. Elvin Evans is the window cleaning king of the WRC. Yes. Not a mark on it. Not a mark on it. Magic stuff. So yeah, you know, the one, two, three, four. It was a Toyota one, two, three, four last year. They're sitting in first, second, third, and fourth just now. A quite remarkable achievement on a rally that is so rough. To do it two years running. Good luck today, Alvin. Good luck. Right, uh, we're going to go see if we can get Cali Robin Pair. So, our top two, just behind Seb Ogier, in front, Cali Robin Pair. He'll be into the stage very shortly. By the way, a little update on the overnight weather. George Donaldson has just let us know there was a heck of a lot of rain on the south side of the lake overnight. So, that might make things quite interesting. Uh, particularly on the Hell's Gate stage. So we'll wait and see. I don't think we're going to get any more this morning. You never know though around here. You really don't. Uh, Yori, we'll grab a quick word. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling excellent. Good. These stages, um, they're still extremely challenging this morning. Some of them may be amongst the most difficult of the rally. Yeah, they're actually quite difficult. Like, uh, And also very different, each one of them. Like, uh, First one is super rocky, quite rough. And the next one is the stage actually where we have been caught in a fest fest and also uh, Oliver last year. So I guess second loop there can bring us something and for sure the power stage is actually a bit uh, better than last year. So it's quite fast and flowy compared to others. So we have different three different kind of stages today. It'll be very interesting. Best of luck boys. Best of luck Cali. 16.7 seconds the gap between Robin Pera and second and these two who lead the rally. Sebastian Ogier and Vincent Londes. A real masterclass in how to strategize your way through a rally so far from the champ this weekend. Let's just have a wee look in the back, carrying two spare tires. Interesting, so that's one new spare tire, one used spare tire. Now, who's, who were we looking in earlier on? We were looking in the back of, was it Katsuta's? Uh, and there are two new ones. You know what, tires have not been, we saw certainly in Sardinia that tires were a real issue in terms of having enough of the, the optimal tyre to last the weekend. That's not been the case here so much. So look at this here, look. Uh, yeah, no, it's a little bit of rubbish on the tyre. So we saw on certainly Danny Sordo's Hyundai, we saw the, um, the gators to protect the springs. Uh, they're very different springs on these Toyotas, not on that. The Hyundais have the gators. This one doesn't have the gator on it. It's, it is quite different. A different manufacturer, different type of spring, different angle of spring as well. And uh, interesting indeed. Let's just go around. We won't disturb the champ. It's, it's all a little bit. Normally we get about 10 or 15 minutes, but there was real, real congestion on the road section this morning. And the drivers have turned up a little later than they normally would. Still with time in hand, but a little later. Uh, so that's why we're 
we're not disturbing them. They've got, they've got what they've got to do. They've got the routines they go through. We'll just watch the champ for a second or two. Just, just going through. I could do with a bit of that. I could do with a bit of that this morning. I'll tell you. Oh, I could. Kelly Robinbera in front. Just about to head off into the stage. Stage is live. Two Hyundai's first into the stage. Lappy and Thierry Neuville. Both super rallying. Goodness me. It's not been a good rally at all for Hyundai. Three years here. Their best result. Fifth. They've won. Whoa, before the start of this event, it was 11 stages here. Um, I don't think they've won any more this weekend. Really, really tough rally for them. He's a popular boy, isn't he, Cali Rovenpera? Really popular boy. I have to say, the fans here have been quite magnificent. They've turned out in there tens of thousands. You know, I, I've rarely seen so many fans on road sections as we've seen here in Kenya. The colour, the atmosphere, the noise, it's been really, really special. And it's kind of what makes it, you know, the stages are magnificent, the scenery is magnificent, the setting is magnificent, but the fans are just extra special here, they really are. So, folks, that is it, the battle for the front. Ogier helmeted up, Vincent helmeted up, they're heading into these final six stages of the rally, final 75 kilometers. There is jeopardy in there this morning. There are rough sections. There could be fish fish. Who knows? There could be mud holes as well after that heavy overnight rain. It is not a Sunday morning stroll in the park, that is for sure. Stick with us, folks. Are we going to see any positional changes? Possibly. We'll have to wait and see. The important thing for Toyota, though, to maintain that one, two, three, four. Let's see if they can do it.